Mohan, I'd love to learn a little bit more about yourself. Like, where are you from? Tell us a little bit about your background. Absolutely. Uh, I'm from Washington, D.C. Uh, I am a, a technical fellow, fellow at this company, Excella, and uh, I'm also an Angular GDE. Nice. Uh, so, and I also have a couple of books published. So excited to talk about this uh, Visual Studio Code extension today. Yeah, great. Okay. Well, I'll just turn it right over to you then. Awesome. Thank you. So let me start by sharing my screen. And uh, are you able to see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. doc. All right. So today we'll be talking about uh, Angular Evergreen. Angular Evergreen is an uh, open source Visual Studio Code extension that's published on uh, the marketplace. We have about uh, 2,500 active installs uh, at the moment, which is great. And uh, we have a, a pretty robust uh, set of contributors, myself, uh, Aristides Bumpakos, and other Angular GD, uh, Kenton Bocock, Brennan Calkins, Alex Hoffman, and Brennan Sawyer from the Angular DC community. So definitely not, uh, not possible uh, to do it alone. Uh, so the key features of this uh, extension are notification of Angular releases within your IDE, uh, checking for the latest and next releases uh, on the fly, uh, being able to run ng update from the comfort of your IDE, uh, run a post update checkup after you've done your upgrades, and then an auto configuration scripts uh, uh, to uh, configure your Angular projects for VS Code. All right, so why an extension? First off, it's very easy to get into. There are no subscriptions or signups required. And as developers, we need focus to develop, and we kind of live inside of our uh, IDEs. So we don't really, you know, start our day and think like. Oh my God! You know, I wonder if there's a new patch release for Angular. You know, we just don't do that. So being able to uh, get that uh, right there within the IDE pushed to us uh, will make us more aware of what's what's going on in the Angular world. Uh, also, your multiple projects can be on different releases, so you, you might not necessarily have the awareness of uh, which patch or which minor version a particular pro project is on. Uh, this is also useful for tracking, you know, next releases. You know, right now Angular RC. Uh, Zero is out. Uh, you know, did you did you know uh, that? Uh, so being able to aware uh, uh, helps you get get prepared for the upcoming releases. And it is really important to be up to date on Angular. Um, so one thing the extension does is whenever you launch uh, your uh, project, they'll tell you if you are already evergreen or if you are out of date. Uh, so uh, once you're uh, in the IDE, you can right click on your Angular JSON file and then hit check for updates. They'll run the ng update command for you so you can see what, uh, what you're behind on. Uh, and then for me more detailed information, you can use the sidebar, which is a versions, quick commands, and a help section. So that's a quick demo here. Um, so here I'm going to start an existing project, a local weather app, which is also featured in my book. And here uh, on the top uh, bottom right corner, it's about it's going to tell me. Um, so yeah, so my Angular is out of date. So let's let's find out more about it. So currently I'm on 11.01, uh, but the latest is 11.2. I can only I can also see uh, you know 12 RC zero is out. So here uh, I can I have my uh, various commands here. I can uh, run uh, the Angular update CLI and core command right here. And then I'll start uh, running that command for me. And then if I need uh, more help, I can just hit this how to update link here, which will go ahead and, and bring up the Angular update guide uh, for me. So if I'm not familiar with these uh, tools, uh, I'll be informed. And then the last uh, project I want to show you is the one that I just created uh, yesterday. And, um, and that one. Uh, that's going to show us that it's already evergreen. So good job. I know I'm on top of it. And the one thing I wanted to show you is, um, is this uh, configure VS code for Angular script, which kind of goes ahead and adds a, adds a lot of, uh, uh, you know, pretty, prettier and, and uh, NPM script, uh, scripts, et cetera, to your project for linting and styling rules, uh, lots of helpers uh, that, are, uh, that give you a, a good start. For your project, so um, Angular Evergreen uh, uh, attempts to uh, keep you in your IDE, keep you focused on what you're doing. Uh, it uh, also aims uh, to make beginners uh, more comfortable executing ng update commands, and uh, you can reliably verify your upgrades with the post update uh, uh, script, uh, and then keep your Angular Evergreen. 
So we're looking uh, for contributors. Uh, we need your ideas. You can submit issues and PRs on GitHub to the project. Uh, you can contact uh, us to become a contributor on Twitter at Deluca and at a Bampikos, um, as uh, shown here. And finally, I just wanted to wrap up uh, saying uh, uh, the second edition of my book is out, Angular for Enterprise Early Web Applications. You can check that out on angularforenterprise.com. And uh, my colleague uh, Aristides uh, Bampikos, uh, his second edition of his book is coming out this July, which is also great. And the link of that uh, is here. And then uh, I'll also, uh, 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 the slides will be live after this. Uh, so if you wanted to check on uh, Twitter. And for Angular Evergreen, go to angularevergreen.com.